Hi Aries, welcome to your weekend tarot card reading. I hope you're doing fantastic today. Thank you for stopping in. So let me just see what is coming up in your tarot cards. I hope all of you are fantastic. Thank you for being here. Let's see what's popping up in your energy Aries. Okay, we have Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Aries. swords. There's something here that's on your mind that could be um, worse than you think it is. Like it's not as bad as you think it is. Um, because the challenge is letting go with the star and hope for the future. Just sort of letting this go. Um, not worrying so much about a certain situation um, or not putting so much thought into it overanalyzing something. Ah, leadership. King of Wands. This is the leader of fire. So it's the leader of passion, energy, creative, um, somebody who takes action. Okay, so we have fire, the element of fire, which is about root chakra energy. So let's see what we're getting here. You're wanting to do something. Okay. We have a Ten of Swords. And we have a Judgment. And I feel like this was the same spread almost as this today. But we have here something that is a big decision. It is a resurrection, a rebirth, a renewal. It could be a divine calling. Okay. So, wanting to take action, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords is in the past. There's a cycle here that's closing out. It may have become too stressful for you. Okay, let's see. What's coming into the future energy for Aries? Okay, look at this. Nine of Cups. A wish that's coming true. Satisfaction and contentment. So your energy here is coming up as emperor. You're in a position of power, personal power. Um, okay, so let's see what, what is around Aries. What is around Aries? Seven of air, okay. It's the energy of somebody who is hiding information, maybe taking information, um, Maybe just, I don't know, being sneaky. It's kind of somebody who doesn't want to confront, so they just sort of take some and then something about communication. Um, but you are in this emperor energy, like you know your, you own your power. So what is, what are you hoping for? Wow. Page. You're hoping for exciting news. You want to feel young again. You want to feel inspired. Um, okay, we have here a Three of Swords. What's happening with that? Okay, could also be part of your fear that you'll get hurt in some way. Um, so let's see, what is this outcome about? What is the outcome about for the weekend for Aries? Magician, okay, manifestate and ten of cups. Okay, so you are going to make your dreams come true here. This is about manifestation of ideas, um, very skilled, very resourceful. Don't know why that's not. Okay, so we have here the magician with the ten of cups. You've got ideas. You're putting things together. Your fear is that you're going to get hurt in some way. Um... Okay, so 
you are taking an active role here with the king um, as the root or as the what is going on as the root of the issue you are wow look at this justice fairness balance equality legal matters contracts um something is about the truth as well um the the justice card literally means something is coming into balance page of swords knight of swords six of wands okay um your energy is emperor you are in your power as an aries why is there a seven of swords here around the aries what is this energy Okay, somebody feels left out in the cold, or they could be having money problems. There could be some financial shortages going on here. Okay. Wow. So you have an Ace of Cups and a King of Water. Somebody is offering you something of value that makes you feel happy. It's somebody who takes action based on their emotions and their feelings. Okay. Ace, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. And then you have here a Ten of Cups and the Magician. So you have the energy of manifestation happening. We have the Four of Wands, Stability, Happy Home, Goal Achievement. Ooh. It looks like you were dealing with a situation here that was tough. The Devil can be um, a limitation on you or it can be someone who wants to um, be very um, controlling over you and it looks like here that possibly there was something where you said enough is enough I'm not going to do this there is something here about stability in your life is coming in there's a king of swords and page or I'm sorry king of swords six of coin there's a an offer or a final decision being made you are being elevated, lifted up, raised higher. Okay, so bottom of the deck is this Four of Wands. So what you don't see is that there is stability coming into your life. You are in a very powerful position here, and somebody is making an offer to you. It's very powerful feelings, and the future energy here is a Nine of Cups. This has to do with emotional satisfaction, wish fulfillment, um, positive energy, Emotions are feeling very positive. Okay, this is a great reading. You're, you know who you are with the Emperor, and you know what you'll tolerate, you know what you'll do and what you won't do. Um, okay, so let's see. What have we got here for Aries? The angel of balance is coming into your life. So there was that justice energy, which is about balance. Something is coming into balance. Um, okay, what else do we have here for Aries? You're walking away. You could be possibly walking away from something that doesn't serve your highest good. Okay, what we got is a man holding a heart. So there are some, for some of you, this is about love and relationships. Um, you have a person here who is offering you love. Okay, I did get several cards at once. I got the top card is the door to personal healing and happiness. There's a door opening for you that is bringing you personal healing and happiness. Um, the environment you're in is not the best because it looks like there's a shortage around you. There's either a shortage of money or there could be people who, or a person who is not altogether trustworthy. Um, it could just be somebody who doesn't like to confront, somebody who likes to keep things hidden or you know, um, what else for Aries? Show us one more. Oh, wow. Okay. Got a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. So bottom of the deck is cornucopia again. There is something here about wealth, financial security, abundance. 
and what's here. Oh, wow. We have Jesus, the healer of the ages, which is about supernatural blessings. And we also have the magician. Something very magical is happening in your life, Aries. Um, this truly is a blessing. So this is not to be ignored. This is a big deal. Okay, Aries, I'll leave it here for you. It's your weekend reading. Thank you for watching. Take care.